Smoke is a two-armor, two-speed defense operator and is one of the most versatile Rainbow Six Siege operators in the game. With his crazy area denial, plant denial and weapons combinations, he is extremely good but it's hard to justify a nerf for him at the same time. Smoke is as close to a perfectly balanced operator as one can get to, even if he might be slightly overtuned. In a world where terrorists are causing chaos with biochemical weapons, Smoke thought it was a good idea to fight them with more biochemical weapons. Smoke is equipped with his good or reliable can of war crimes, which last for 10 seconds per can and he gets 3 canisters to throw. This means Smoke can deny entry into sight for 30 seconds, so you best be saving them for the last 30 seconds and around. Whilst there are other uses for his canisters, it is best to save them for the last push so if an enemy does decide to run through the smoke, they will either die from it or come out so disorientated you can get an easy kill with your SMG-11. More on that later. Other uses for smoke's war crimes are plant denial. So when attackers are planting the diffuser, you can lob a gas cloud over the head which will either weaken them, kill them, or the most likely option, cause them to retreat and stop planting. Shield users such as Montagne, Blitz and fuse players that aren't right in the head can be countered by smoke's gas as they still have to breathe even if they are bulletproof in the front. However, if you're going to use a canister on these, try not to use more than one as you want to save at least two for the last 20 seconds when the attackers have to make a move. Osa is also countered by smoke's gas clouds, but she can just run away from it as her shield when placed is a separate entity to her, but if she is still holding her shield, then the interaction works the same way as it would for a blitz. In addition to all of this, Smoke can mount his beauties on a wall or ceiling for a remote detonation, but I advise against this unless you know the attackers will push that way definitively, as you will either have to go back and pick up the canister manually or detonate it, wasting your resources. Another thing you'll have to do is look out for a Rooney Yates, because they can destroy any projectile or object that touches them, including defender gadgets such as Smoke's canisters, so watch out for that. A closing note for this segment, other operators with gas masks equipped such as Sledge and Thatcher on attack and Mute on defense will still take damage from your gas because the SAS decided to give Smoke the only working gas mask they had. Finker, Lion and any other operator with a gas mask as well will still take damage from your gas, you are the only one immune to your own gas. If you caught on to me telling you that Mute is still affected by your war crimes, you'll realise that you can kill your own teammates with your gas. So don't. Smoke's primary weapon options are the FMG9 submachine gun and the M590A1 shotgun, aka the Brexit shotgun. His secondary weapon options are between the P226 Mark 25 handgun and the SMG11 machine pistol. My personal recommendation is to use the Brexit shotgun in combination with the SMG-11 as that allows you to have insane burst damage at close range with an added bonus of soft destruction and a high fire rate SMG which is a headshot machine if you get the recoil allow due to its massive fire rate. However, the FMG-9 is not to be overlooked either. If you are someone who struggles to control massive amounts of recoil, which I know can be extremely difficult on console, then try out the FMG-9. Its modest fire rate and damage combined with its low recoil make it very easy to get those one-shot headshots, if you have the aim of course. The P226 is a pistol. Nothing more really needs to be said to be honest, as most pistols are used in very limited situations anyway. Only use it if you can't use the SMG-11, as it is the best secondary weapon in the game as of time of writing. In terms of secondary gadgets, Smoke has the option choosing between two barbed wire and one deployable shield. Barbed wire can be useful as it gives a sound cue and slows the enemy when they walk through it, and also makes a sound cue when being destroyed. However, barbed wire can be taken out with only two melee hits or it can be one shot by Sledge's hammer, any explosive, which includes the new-ish Gon 6. The deployable shield he has access to is just better in my opinion, as it's bulletproof and allows you to play very tight angles with your Brexit shotgun and the SMG-11, as well as acting as a bit of a utility sponge as the attackers have to use an explosive to get rid of it. The transparent slits in the shield make it easy to know when to peek, to fire or throw a can of war crimes. Personally I prefer the deployable shield as you can take an aggressive angle and get free peeks as long as the enemy can't hit your head. Smoke's role in the prep phase, if he has the shotgun equipped, is to make rotate holes between sides and holes to throw C4 and gas canisters through in various places 
where they can reach common plant spots. Another job for smoke is Swiss cheesing walls on main breaches before reinforcing them, which means creating random shotgun holes in the soft part of the wall before reinforcing the wall to make it hard. This makes it harder for Maverick to create lines when trying to trick the wall into becoming soft. The last thing smoke should do is place down his barbed wire or deployable shield and take position where it's easy to deny plant or entry to sight. In the action phase, it is your job as smoke to stay alive throughout all of the round as you bring the most value in the last 30 seconds, more so than any other operator in the game. If you have taken up an aggressive angle, make sure you can rotate to a safer position in case you get pushed by multiple people. The last thing you want to do with smoke is die early, because then you contribute a grand total of literally nothing to the round and you have just wasted that entire round. Only take safe peaks you're guaranteed to get a kill from and you will not die from either. This is mostly why I bring the deployable shield on smoke as it gives you free peaks and easy kills without risking dying as much. I say as much because there is always the chance the enemy lands a lucky headshot on you when you peek. Try to save all your Geneva Convention violations for the last 30 seconds or a plant for reasons previously mentioned and you will excel at smoke. Counters to smoke's gadget don't really exist. Sure, an IQ could find your gas canister if you have it pre-placed, but you won't do that for most of the time you play Mr. War Crimes, as it will be more beneficial to keep them pocketed until you 100% need them. Smoke's only counters to his gadget are probably IQ, Twitch, Thatcher, and any gun that can get a line of sight onto it if it's pre-placed. Other than that, they don't really exist. Now, someone could shoot it out of the air, but that's highly unlikely. A counter to smoke the actual player would probably be anyone with a gun that has a high zoom optic, so 2x or above, as smoke has a very limited range with his shotgun and SMG-11 combo, as the recoil on the SMG-11 is very hard to control at long range. However, if the smoker is equipped with an FMG-9 then he stands more of a chance at long range, but other than that, try not to take long range engagements and stick to close quarters combats, because that's where smoke it does really well. Save two or three gas canisters for the last 20 to 30 seconds to deny entry to sight as mentioned before. If there is one tip to take away from the video, it has to be this one. Gas canister management is vital on smoke, seeing as you only get three of them. Make rotate holes and holes at the tops of walls with your shotgun, between sights and wherever else you may need them, to save your teammates impact grenades and to create holes so you can throw gas canisters through if you hear a plan between sights. If you know where the enemy is going to attack from definitively, then you can pre-place your can of war crimes on a wall or ceiling by throwing it at that surface and the canister will stick to it because of double-sided tape. Learn how to control the SMG-11's recoil pattern as it is Smoke's best weapon in combat. Don't die early. If you die early at the start of the round, then those three vape grenades are going to just sit on your corpse and do nothing. And how are you supposed to come in at war crimes if you're dead? Overall, Smoke is a middle of the road operator in terms of difficulty, as his gadget is pretty simple to use, but knowing how to utilize his shotgun and control the SMG-11 effectively is where the skill curve really comes in, in my opinion. Learn how and when to use your toxic babes alongside the recoil of the SMG-11, and you are sure to become a pretty decent Smoke player. Outro. Thank you for watching the very first video on this channel. I'll be doing one of these every two weeks, so the next one will be either on the 28th of January or the 31st, depending on how things go. All the clips you saw today were taken from my Twitch channel, link will be on screen and in the description. Twitch the Operator is next for this series, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.